Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at three tweets that I want to recommend to all of you to download. So I'm not going to do a lot of rambling. I'm going to just go ahead and jump into things. The first tweak I have for you is simple passcode buttons. And what this particular tweak does is it lets you pretty much unlock your device in what I like to consider stealth mode. So you no longer have the numbers or letters appear in here, which kind of increases your privacy in terms of what you're typing in. So you just kind of have to remember where all the numbers are up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my passcode and you'll see as I'm pressing on the number pad, the number is not appearing down here as well as not up there. So I'm gonna just keep typing in my passcode and it unlocks my device. Now you do have just a few options in terms of the simple passcode buttons where basically you can choose the button style. So you can hide everything, meaning the numbers and the letters, or you can just choose to hide the letters. So I'm gonna select hide letters just to demonstrate how that looks. So I'm gonna jump back to my lock screen. And you'll see as I slide to unlock my device, instead of having the letters under the numbers here, it's just the numbers. So it still gives you a clean design, just kind of another look to it. So you have your options here that you can choose from. Now, the next tweak I want to share with you is color badges. And that pretty much gives you these badge notifications on top of your icons and it matches the color of your applications. So you'll see here like Dropbox is white. So that notification is white as well as um, when it comes to folders. Folders, it just pretty much chooses one of the uh, applications that have an update and it makes that the folder notification or the folder badge rather. So I'm gonna hop back to the first page again, give you a closer look of this. So like I mentioned, you'll see the badge for calendar is white and the badge for FaceTime is green. So it just looks at the application and tries to best match the badge in terms of what it feels would look best with it. Now there are no options to configure for it. So pretty much you install it and go. And then the last Last tweak I have that I want to share is speed intensifier. So this one you can hop into your settings. And now that I'm here for speed intensifier, you see I have a few options in terms of how fast I want my device to move. So currently mine's is set on seven and you can turn on the option down here so that as your phone is moving a little bit faster in terms of the animations, it does not speed up the animation for your icons to wiggle. And personally, I think that's best because the faster you move your device to speed through the animations, the faster it will do the icon wiggles when you put it in wiggle mode, which basically kind of makes them look almost still. So I do suggest turning this option here on, but we're gonna play with these speeds and we're gonna go a little bit faster here. So we're gonna test this speed out. I'm gonna just hop out into my settings and just hop into applications so you can kind of take a look here in terms of how fast it's moving. Let's bring to my three. So you can see it's kind of snappy here. It just kind of pushes back and forth uh, fairly quickly. So I'm gonna go back to speed intensifier and I'm gonna drop it down so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go back into settings and you see it's more so in my opinion when it's at these speeds is more so like the default settings of the um, of the device itself. So I'm going to go back into speed intensifier. I personally like it on the default speed up in this area here because it moves fast enough but not too fast to the point that it doesn't look good at all. But those are the three tweaks that I wanted to share with all of you. So be sure to go ahead and check them out. Um, the links for them or the descriptions about them will be listed down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.